Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about a workflow. And the workflow I'm going to do is an email notification workflow based on the SharePoint 2013 engine. So I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer 2013 and I've found the IT tickets list summary page here. And then I'm going to go into workflows and click new email notifications. And as I said, I'm going to show you the SharePoint 2013 workflow. A few things have changed compared to the 2010 SharePoint engine text editor. First of all, you have another editor called the Visual Designer, which is there if you have Visio installed. I'm going to show that in another demo. You also have this the whole concept of stages. In this workflow, there's only one, send email. And then you have to transition to another stage. Even if you only have one stage, you still have to transition. And you do that by typing here, go, and then press enter. So you get go to a stage, and then you select end of workflow. So you always need to do that. Even if you only have one simple stage in your 2013 workflow, you do need to do that. And then the start options are the same. So I want to make sure to do that. Start the workflow automatically when an item is created or when it's changed. I'm going to go and edit here. And then I'm going to set my condition. Same thing, if any value equals value. There's another option here that's in there in 2010, if current item value equals value. But that's, of course, possible to do with the same condition there. So I'm going to click on the value here, select the current item, priority. There we go and that's equals to high. In that case, I'm going to send an email. And as you see, there are a few more actions here that I'm going to show in other demos, but most of the same actions that are there in 2010 are also there in 2013 workflows. So send an email, these users, it's almost exactly the same as in 2010. I'm going to do a workflow lookup for a user, select the assign to, and select the email address. And then a subject. And then just add a link to the My Issues view there. I'm going to copy that shortcut. In there. And there we go. And now I'm just going to publish that. And then I'm going to test that it works by changing one of these. I'm going to change this. Edit item. I'm going to select priority to high. And then I'm going to assign it to myself. And I'm going to open my mail in a new tab. So we see the email coming in. And that's the one I just got. So that shows you a um, quick demonstration of a SharePoint 2013 workflow. And as you see, the same principles go. The main difference is that you need to transition to a stage. And there is also the option to do the Visual Designer, which I'll show in another demo. So thank you for watching this demo.